And he goes, you know, the dentist said, I have weak enamel. And I said, well, what do you mean weak enamel? And I said, uh, you know, weak enamel is not normal. And I said, did he tell you why you have weak enamel? And the first thing that popped into my head is that uh, he probably had uh, un undiagnosed celiac disease, uh, which ah. can cause weak enamel. And lo and behold, I tested him. And sure enough, he had uh, a marked uh, a uh, response to uh, gluten. And when he got off of it, I mean, all of it, a lot of his symptoms, they didn't affect his teeth because, you know, the horse was already out of the barn, but he also was having sort of unexplained fatigue and malaise and all that kind of stuff. And, and actually just getting off of gluten cleared up those other uh, conditions. And we all, you know, you and, you, you and I well know that there are multiple autoimmune conditions that are associated with uh, gluten sensitivity, but weak enamel is one of those things. And I also, I, I try to get my patients and the dentists who I see either as patients or dentists who I meet in social circles to really be aware of that. Cause I, I just think it's below everybody's radar. 